It's a unique spectacle. Every year between April and December, around 4,000 southern right whales swim all the way from the Antarctic to the warmer waters of the Peninsula Valdez in southern Argentina. They come to reproduce, give birth and nurse their calves before swimming back to the Antarctic to feed themselves with krill. And that krill, a small shrimp that lives under the Antarctic ice, is what's made the whales vulnerable to climate change. In the years in which the sea temperature is a little bit higher than normal, the abundance of krill goes down. Krill is one of the whale's main sources of food. So the year after the years in which there's less krill, we register a lower number of calves. And it's also possible that it affects the survival of the newborns. So it's all linked. What happens in the Antarctic with the production of krill affects the whales that we see here in the Valdez Peninsula, thousands of kilometers away. In recent years, the Whales Conservation Institute has observed an unprecedented number of deaths in the Peninsula Valdez. The majority were calves of less than three months old. But the whales breeding populations in Argentina, South Africa and Australia are still increasing by 5 to 7 percent every year. That's because their main cause of death, whaling, became illegal in 1935 when they went nearly extinct. But the whales are still not out of danger. They are now hunted by a new predator, seagulls. The kelp gulls learn to feed themselves with the live whale skin and fat. That creates a lot of stress for the whales and changes their behavior because it forces them to move quicker and it interrupts their nursing and resting periods. And seagulls attacks are not the only danger facing the whales today. Scientists have observed various other threats caused by human activity. Now you've got toxicology, you've got ship strikes, you've got acoustic bleaching, you've got entanglement in nets. Whales on one level face more threats now than ever before, but now we have the technology. We're living uphill from the oceans and if everybody take small actions with regards to their daily behavior, it has an effect on the, the ocean habitat. And the ocean habitat is important for us, as important for us as it is for the whales. Scientists hope that working with the tourism industry will help protect the whales. Tourists are taught about the mammals and their habitat and can also choose to adopt a whale by giving money that will help fund conservation programs.